Good morning, guys, and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to take you through a full day of eating normally, what I actually eat when I'm not doing like food challenges. I'm also going to explain to you how I lost 54 pounds of fat. Anyway, guys, Freya, do you mind trying to record a video here? <laughs> anyway, guys, before we get started, please give the video a like if you want, subscribe if you want, and let's go. Okay guys, so before we get started, we best eat our calendar, Christmas calendar chocolate. I have a Reese's peanut butter calendar and it's absolutely fantastic. It's the reason why I get up in the morning to be honest. Today is the 16th of December, so we've got nine days until Christmas Day, Freya. Exciting time, so happy Christmas guys. Reese's peanut butter cup. Don't you dare. So the reason why I have six eggs in the morning is because eggs are great, they keep you full, they're high in protein, and they're quite light as well, so you can train soon after eating them. So yeah, we have six eggs, calories will be right up there for you guys. Let's get started in three, two, one. Dip dip. And we are done. Oh, it's amazing how full you can get from eating six eggs for a pretty simple basic meal. Sometimes I add things to the omelet, like mushrooms or whatever, but sometimes I like to keep it pretty basic and just have it with some tomato sauce because it's just nice when it's simple. <laughs> I'm so weird. Anyway guys, let's actually do something with our lives instead of sitting around eating, feeling chubby after eating so many eggs and yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm so bad at YouTube for God's sake. Hopefully one day I'll actually like get good at this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so I quickly wanted to talk to you guys um, about the title of the video, How I Lost 54 Pounds. Let's get you a bit closer first. There we go. Is that a bit? I don't know. Okay, so back in 2017, myself and Megan went through a very tough time. Okay, so Megan was pregnant. Megan. <laughs> and the pregnancy was going pretty well. You know, we went to the first 12 week scan, everything was fine. We went to the 20 week scan to find out that the baby was a little girl. So we called her Ella. And then a few weeks later, around 25 week mark, Megan stopped feeling movements as much, so she went to the midwife and then they referred her to the hospital because they couldn't find any like heartbeat and we found out that Ella had passed away. So a few days later we went to the hospital, Megan gave birth to Ella and we spent 18 hours in the hospital room, like just, just like spending time with her and it was like the most traumatic thing I've ever been through. Like, I would much rather like 
go through anything else in this life than go through that again. It was just absolutely heartbreaking. So, after that happened, I'm not sure why I gained all that weight. I think this may be, I think that could be the reason why. So, over the course of 2017, all up to 2018, I gained over 40 pounds of weight. You know, that, that was a hard time for me. It's still quite hard to talk about now. And, uh, yeah, it was just a hard time. So I'll put a video up there for you guys of how I looked at the end of 2018. And I was 212 pounds. And I felt like, I felt uncomfortable. I felt ill. I, I had heart palpitations every day and it wasn't a good place to be in. You know, bodybuilders and people into the gym, they say, you need to eat big to get big. No, you don't, okay? Just eat a sensible diet, enjoy the gym and just enjoy your life. And... Don't put on 40 pounds in a year. It's really not good for you. It got to the point where I was driving home from work and just like walking around and I could feel like the fat like come over my trousers like a roll. And after having like a really bad like panic attack, it was at that point I realized, okay Sam, I need to do something about this. So I decided to enter cutting phase, start losing that fat and I lost a lot of weight very fast. And I don't recommend anyone to lose weight that fast. So I'll put a picture up there of what I look like at 212 pounds, and I'll put a picture up there of what I look like right now. So question is, how did I lose that much weight? It's about consistency. Anything regarding the gym, all that matters is consistency. If you're consistent, you'll get where you want to be. I was consistent with my diet, I was consistent with training, and over time, I lost that weight. And now I've like, eventually came to understanding of how to stay lean, how to make these videos like I make for you guys, eat cake all day and still stay lean and still lose fat. It's all about calories in and calories out. If you eat a total amount of calories below your calorie maintenance, you will lose fat. Not over the course of a day, not over the course of a week, over the course of like a month or so. So yeah, I felt pretty bad around that time. Mental health can cause a whole range of possible side effects. I think I got off pretty light with what we went through. There's a lot of people that would turn to alcohol, drugs, depression. What I did was just focus on the gym. Every time I go to the gym, I put all that hate and all that depression I felt from that day into the gym. Because without the gym and without being able to take that hate and depression out of what I felt on that day back in 2017, I don't know where I'd be right now. If you want any help losing fat or with whatever you want someone to talk to, uh, drop a comment down below. It'd be absolutely awesome. I love talking to you guys. I love your comments. I love your. I just love you watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, let's get changed. Let's get dressed and let's go out. Did they say happy Christmas? <laughs> happy Christmas, by the way, guys. Okay, guys, so we are dressed, ready to go out. So we need to go out and get some food for the next few meals we're going to have for today. So, frame montage coming in in three, two, one. And we're home. So a pretty basic, simple meal that I meal prep each week. All I do is get some lean beef steak, some vegetables and onions, stuff like that. Chuck it all into a pan and let it cook for two hours. That way the steak's nice and soft and tender. And then I just meal prep it, put it in containers and chuck it in the freezer and take one out when I want. So here it is. We have a ton of broccoli because on these low calorie days, I want to fill myself up and broccoli is really good for you. Basically, each day I'll eat a whole broccoli tree or two. And we also have 210 grams of lean diced beef steak. Anyway, let's give it a shot. It doesn't look very appetizing. It's like a beef casserole with vegetables and broccoli, basically. Well, the beef is so tender. Basically, all the meals are prepped at the moment are this, just because beef contains a lot of creatine, so it helps fuel my workouts, helps keep me strong. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to eat this, and then I'll be back in three, two, one. And that is done. All right, guys, another reason why I have broccoli in my meals with a lot of meat is because broccoli helps protect your gut lining from that meat. So basically, when you eat meat by itself, it goes through your intestines, right? As it goes through your intestines, the longer it's in there, the more it decays and the more it rots. So if it's in there for a long time, which sometimes it can be, the broccoli helps protect your gut lining, basically. Anyway, now we have a new item that I found, brand new in the UK. Here it is. A white Snickers. Now I'm really excited to try these. First I'm trying one. I've never tried one before. I've seen them online a while ago and I thought, wow, that's amazing. I just thought they're like a US based thing only. So yeah, let's give it a go. Mmm, smells like Milky Bar. Wow, that's really good. If you know me, Snickers are my favorite chocolate bars, so 10 out of 10. So today I'm giving myself around 1500 calories. My maintenance calories are around 3000 a day. So we've got a few calories left for today. But anyway, we're gonna go to the gym now, get in some sort of chest workout, I believe. Right now you should be hearing a slow increase in music. Once the music peaks, we'll be at the gym and we'll be training some chest. All right guys, I'm just in the middle of cooking up some mushrooms and I'm gonna add a bit of salt to just before the gym so I can get like a pump. And look what arrived. So these are Project D Donuts. I'll show them now. Donuts just look amazing, guys. So these are for the video tomorrow. I'm doing nothing but Christmas food for 24 hours with Megan. It's going to be fantastic. That'll be uploaded on the 20th of December, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, these donuts are going to sit in the fridge until then. So, yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow, donuts. Okay, dokey then guys we're finally home so that was a decent gym session felt pretty weak today but is what it is can't always always have the best gym session anyway we have some chicken stir fry <laughs> stuff bless you basically it's a meal from my no cook meals video so if you haven't watched it go give it a watch all it basically is is chicken cooked chicken breast right from Lidl, I bought it from Lidl. Stir fry mix and sweet chili sauce. Let's get stuck in. Ray, do you want to start the time lapse? Come and say three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> we are done so in that meal i don't count the calories in the vegetables and the chili sauce just because it's very like minimal it's not much point counting them and what is the chances of a vegetable turning into a fat cell okay guys let's go get the last meal for today be right back all right guys and we have our final meal of the day so we have another one is beef meals from earlier with tons of broccoli thank you for it. Do you want to touch it again no 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 the reason why I eat the broccoli stem is because it's... Freya, you're not getting any of this broccoli. No. Don't... <laughs> For God's sake. The reason why I eat broccoli stem is because it's very high in fiber. It contains a lot of water. And we also have a my protein vanilla protein shake with water. Anyway, guys, let's start the final time lapse in three, two, one. And that 
it's done. Freya helped me with quite a bit of that, didn't you? Your first time really trying steak chunks. All we have left now is a protein shake. Now personally, when you choose protein, I think you should go to basic flavors just because you can do a lot with, with basic flavor protein like chocolate and vanilla, banana. You can bake, you can make coffees, you can make like lattes, vanilla, vanilla lattes. And it's just, just awesome. Anyway guys, so conclusion for this video. If you want to lose weight, just stay on a calorie deficit, be consistent, and you'll get there. It took me a long time to lose those 54 pounds. It took me two years or so, I did it slowly. The best way to do things is slowly, don't rush it. Don't just drop the weight. It's quite bad for you, quite bad for your health. The faster you lose it, there's a possibility that you could put it on fast as well. So lose it slowly, and then once you've finally got where you want to be, slowly start to increase your calories again, and you'll learn a lot. Anyway, we're going to end the video there, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want. And as always, guys, we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Say bye. Wave. Good girl.